Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. Guess what we found? Uh, yes, this is our Jupiter, Jupiter orbital mission. It has uh, made gravity fall into the uh, gravity well of Jupiter. It has power. There is a little bit of a drain, but I'm not very concerned about it. Most of it is going to be from this stage. And although we're 20 days out from our uh, orbital insertion burn, I do think that everything is going to work out well. Uh, the RTGs are at full yield. We are tilted relatively uh, optimized into the sun. Uh, we've got our flight computer loaded with a whole pile of directions on what it needs to do. So, for the most part, I'm completely hands-off for this. Um, here's hoping it goes a lot better than last time. I did accidentally turn the RCS on. That's fine. It's just going to get us oriented here. Hopefully, flight computer is notoriously bad about getting us oriented and holding said orientation. But, you know, it does what it can. Um, I'm going to let it get close and hit the time warp button. So then we're going to turn it off, because we have the very first instruction here, seven days out from our burn, is to turn it back on. So before it can drift too far, we're just going to start the time warps. I, like I said, I'm completely hands-off for this. So this is um, it's going to hopefully be an entirely automated process, but we do have a connection. It's about a 35-minute delay between uh, when instructions are sent from ground stations on Earth and when they are received by the satellite. So, uh, yeah, here's hoping, man. <laughs> Last time we had a, uh, we ran out of battery power because I sat here in time warp for too long. Although now we are showing a net zero with all of our avionics shut down in time warp. Uh, we have plenty of electric charge. So, we're just going to kick on the time warps. The fun part is, is one hour after this completes its orbital insertion burn and okay good that's can we delete on close please thank you very much one hour after this completes its orbital insertion burn the Jupiter flyby probe the one that's set to fling itself out of the solar system makes its gravity fall and has to do a uh, correction burn so our time window here is very very limited oh goodness yes well we all know about that already. <laughs> half of our missions going to Mars are so far successful. The uh, other half were not. Thank you, RL-10 engine failure. All right. So we'll just watch the planets whiz by. I have been trying very hard to correct the uh, Z infighting with the clouds on Jupiter. Much to absolutely no effect whatsoever. All right, there's our RCS kicking on. We'll let that kind of equalize itself and go back to time warp. So uh, I don't think I was able to actually make any progress on getting the clouds on Jupiter to look any better and to stop that Z fighting. But yeah, you can you can see it there how it looks all kinds of weird and fuzzy and stuff. I was really hoping to avoid that by the time we got here, but uh, time constraints in life what they are anybody knows a solid fix to make this not happen, I'd be so interested to hear it. Um, playing with the Alt-Zero menu on uh, <clears throat> uh, RSVE has yielded me exactly no results. All right, we are seven hours from our node and our huge rendering of sciency things. Um, the issue, as best I can tell, is that we will be behind Jupiter when it comes time to make all of these instructions, which is why I have loaded them all into flight computer. Oh, that looks so much better. Wow, let's slow that down. How fast are we traveling? Oh my god. 37, 38, and climbing kilometers per second. Oh, well, I mean, we've been falling for like 23 straight days, all accelerating under the massive gravity well of Jupiter. That is absolutely incredible. I just need to take a couple minutes to really appreciate that. We're going to come in really, really close. Oh, hey, we're starting to get in some science. Let's go ahead and radio this stuff in while we still have a connection. We're getting science back from Jupiter. This is amazing. All right, we're going to overwrite micrometeorite detector. Cancel. 
Oh wait, yes, record impact date. I don't know what we've got in there, but we're gonna. This is the stuff we want. Hold maneuver prograde. Oh, are we burning? We're burning. Oh man, I forgot to ullage that engine and everything. Wow, thank God that went. I need to adjust my volume so I can hear things. All right. Um, looks like our transfer stage has burned out. We will be jettisoning it shortly. There it goes. And deploying the rest of our scientific equipment. And our 1K thruster should be activating soon. It doesn't say science added. Why is it not adding science? And I really hope that engine is active. Yes, that engine is active. We're still 39 minutes away from our node. It looks like all of this was completely off, which means I could be adding instructions for it. Ah, oh, yeah, transmit. All right, we got to I can't move that, can I? All right, let's set our delay for 38 minutes, 50 seconds. Delay set. Throttle to 100% and 414 minus 611. We're just going to go for broke and burn all the tanks. Uh, we'll just say 197 uh, meters per second. Burn. All right. Last instruction program. Did that say science added? Yeah. It's space near Jupiter. Even better. Wow, we got near Jupiter science. This had, transmission had better work. And there goes our transfer stage. I guess my timing was about half an hour off as far as getting these burns scheduled. Oh, that is taking forever. All right, we can tuck you off to the side. I don't necessarily need you currently. Science added. Excellent. Transmit. Science added. Transmit. All right, that's our full load. I don't know how much of it we actually got. Wow. <laughs> Can we just talk about this for a second? Did we run out of fuel? Oh, crap. Uh, I forgot to unlock the tanks. I am a dumb. Unlock, please. Thank you. Crap. And with that engine shut down. Frag. Nope, forgot. Come on, give me just the tank. There we go. Gotcha. Never forget to unlock your balls. Oh, crap. Um, current throttle is 0%. Throttle is set to 100%. Flame out, no propellants. Shit. Shut down. It's going to take me another minute to restart it. Uh, and our signal delay. Dang it. Cancel that command. Uh, actually, let's just cancel that one too. And issue a new order 36 minutes out for 518 meters per second meters per second. That's going to be confusing to the computer. Burn. Okay, our signal delay is 40 minutes, so we will be about five minutes past our maneuver node, which is fine. Uh, so far, this has been a resounding success compared to the predecessor. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Look at that. 
Wow! Oh, if I had only been like two or three seconds sooner. Go away, flight computer. You're taking up too much time. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, it's also time for us to make our correction burn on our other spacecraft. And we've still got two minutes to wait. We're not going to stand here and wait it, wait for it. How much delta V do we have? Oh no, this is going to be literally everything we have in the tank. We're not even orbital yet. Oh no, is our shutdown engine command not going to get... Oh no. Oh, our cancel command isn't going to get there in time to cancel out the cancel engine. Oh no. Yes, we are not orbital. What just happened? I heard a clunk. There's nothing here to decouple. Ah. Uh. And we can't even get a signal to it. I porked this up so bad. Yep. And nothing happened. Oh, no. Well, I'm going to stand here and hit the H key and pretend like uh, this is the backup system in case of engine failure, which was caused by me. <laughs> Hopefully Flight Computer isn't going to fight me too hard on this, but uh, I won't make you watch it. So enjoy some fast forwards while I try desperately to correct my screw up. We can get rid of the Flight Computer. <laughs> At least it's... Wow. Yeah, we didn't need that micron. <laughs> we didn't need that magnetometer boom anyway. Uh, we can just get it into any orbit whatsoever, so we just don't lose the mission. So we've still got high Jupiter science to gather. 400 some odd meters per second, jeez. There. There it is. We have an orbit. Particularly crappy one. <sighs> yeah, our orbit orbital period is currently only seven years. I'm try to bring as much of that down as we can. Seven years from now we'll probably have at least two more missions out here. And this spacecraft will be largely irrelevant. All right, we're going to call it there. It's about a year orbit around Jupiter. Let's just see if I can get some of the timing somewhat correct. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> if only our Perijove? Perijove? Yeah, sounds about right. Was on the uh, 
sunny side of the planet. And I guess it will be next year. What? Oh, wow. There it is. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Oh man, we only had an hour. What am I doing? Oh, we have a space we have another spacecraft to attend to. Yeah, you don't need your nodes. Not even a little bit. Um, DOS P1. Really? Maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe I just set the No, we have 40 days. Okay. Whew. All right. <laughs> We've got 40 days until our flyby and slingshot mission. Uh, makes gravity fall and we have 110 days until we need to make a correction on our Mars mapping mission so oh that's a huge relief I got that so incredibly wrong good for me <laughs> par for the course guys right on alright well that's going to do it for today's episode um, hey we got a success we have a success I'm super excited about that I'm going to tell it to uh, radio in some distant Jovian science because we can do that it's gonna take 40 minutes to get there which puts us way the hell out here okay slow down the times oh, we got that no okay well never mind <laughs> that was a I'm sorry I wasted that you know 30 seconds of your time and whatnot so anyway uh, thanks for hanging out everybody uh, I'll see all of you next time. Till then, see ya.